Hello my lovely Cancer, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Cancer, hope you're feeling absolutely marvellous. So for this week, um, as you can see, I'm using very colourful, very vibrant tarot cards. The main deck, I'll be using the Cara Marchetti Tarot. And to clarify, I'll be using the very magical, the very whimsical, uh, the Mermaid Tarot deck. So if you do like these cards, you like the illustration, in the description box below, I have put two direct links, I put four, sorry, two direct links. Um, this one is available on Etsy. I know that they ship worldwide. And this one is available on Amazon. They also ship worldwide as well. So those two direct links, um, if you want to purchase, be proud owners of one or two decks, it's there. I've also put other direct links below these two of other cards that I use, that I believe in a lot, that I personally recommend myself. So. Cancer, for those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, a very, very warm welcome. Everybody here is welcomed at Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. So by the end of this uh, video, this reading, if you do like um, how I read for you, I do encourage you to subscribe. That way you never, ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here at Australia every single Thursday without fail. So that's the beauty of subscribing to this channel, Cancer, is that every single Thursday in your dedicated playlist, you have two different videos, two separate readings uploaded just for you. So without further ado, I'll put this clarifying deck behind me. Let me clear this one. So um, I want to get to the grain of the matter here. I want to get to the bottom of something. What will ultimately happen, Cancer, between you and a specific person? What is going to happen between the two of you? Is there light at the end of the tunnel? So for those that have been uh, watching me read, you know I like to get straight to the point. I kind of like to respectfully <laughs> cut to the chase and just get to the heart of the matter here. What is going to happen between the two of you? I usually find out pretty early if you're talking to each other or not, if we're even connecting, um, or if we're not, if we've gone our separate ways. So I'll be doing this reading very different. It's still going to be a nine card spread, but three cards down is going to be your energy, Cancer. Three cards down this way will be your person's energy, and in the middle, three cards down will be neutral energies, um, something we can both feel, think, and agree on. And the last card, of course, will be the ultimate outcome. So without further ado, let's shuffle. Let's do this, Cancer. Here we go. Everything that you should know about. And of course, you might have seen as in time-wise on the thumbnail, the cover art of this video, I did put for November and December. I am focusing on this month and next month. But in saying that though, the energies and the messages, the events that can unfold, they might spill a little bit over into January uh, 2024, maybe February. But I like to do a really compacted, condensed reading. So the energies that I pick up are a lot more like here and now, you know, versus, you know, in two years, for example, or one year. So here we go. Everything and anything that my lovely Cancerians should know about for their highest good and always for their highest good. I absolutely love reading for you, Cancer, because I have um, also strong Cancer in my chart. So it's very easy for me to kind of resonate with you and to pick up your energies. Here we go. Three more, they're saying. Two more. Okay, I'm hearing the word action. But I don't feel that it's for you. Perhaps this person that you are you know, watching this reading about, even if you're just curious, they may take action. What type of action? All right. Let's see. If I see any action cards, I'll definitely let you know. Okay. We have the possibility of maybe balancing everything out. So we have here the Six of Pentacles Taurus energy. Very evident. We have the bull right there. This is all about balancing something between the both of you. And I love sixes and I actually do not care which six we get respectfully because all the sixes are about peace, balance, harmony. E well, just knock the camera there. I just have to stop talking with my hands, you know, peace, balance and harmony. And obviously we're just equal give and take here. This is also showing here your intentions, your person's intentions are very good at the moment. So if they were to take action toward you, Okay, they're doing it from a very pure place, a very good intentional place, we could say. Um, it's also the card of gifts, so we may receive a gift or a token of love. What is going on? Excuse me, we have the lovers and number six again. This is good. So perhaps this connection between you and this person needs a lot of healing. 
which is possible. Absolutely. I love seeing the sixes. Gemini energy. The lovers is a very deep mate, deep soulmate connection. Whether it is with a divine feminine, divine masculine, same sex relationship, it does not matter because this is showing to me here that you both still do love each other. You still care about each other. And yes, you still cross each other's mind. But the lovers is telling you very soon, Cancer, you're going to have to make a decision from the heart. I see that your person will as well. Why does this need so... I feel like... I don't know. It's a, look at that. We've got this. Usually the scales are very reminiscent here with the six of pentacles. And also we've got justice. As soon as I saw it, you may have received some form of injustice from this person, which is why we have the sixes. So balance and healing is badly needed. You might have kind of received like the raw end of the deal. It feels like that. Perhaps you and this person have gone through some legalities, a separation, a divorce. Mm, there might be an apology that is backed by facts. You might have heard me say that. What do I mean by that? No excuses, you know, no fluffing around. Let's just get straight to the point. Cancer, I hurt you. This and this happened because of this, this and this. And that's what I always appreciate. It's like, just get straight to the point here. It appears that balance is quite possible. The theme is pretty strong already. Five of Wands. Yeah, I think something happened. This person did something to you. They said something to you that was not fair at all. As we can see here, the Five of Wands, Leo energy is all about confrontation, unfairness, caddy energy, conflict, tension, like arguments, finger pointing and all this. This could also show here, as I always say, too many cooks spoil the broth. What do I mean by that? There was perhaps a very loud connection. Too many people couldn't have been your person's friends family, the ex, the parents, the children, and it was quite chaotic, a very loud connection, especially on their side. They might have been against this, which left your person feeling very unsure about the connection. So that's the hanged man, Pisces energy. They might have had their judgment quite clouded here because of this. And this is just, it seems it's so unfair, right? But now your person and you have had time to think of this of this connection from different angles, different perspectives here. Yeah, mm, this hasn't been easy. I feel like your person has been suffering more away from you rather than being with you though. And I feel here, this is suspended in the air with the hanged man. Um, I feel here that a lot of you just really don't know a, why this truly happened. Even if you know, there's still more information that needs to be had and I Maybe some of you don't even really know if you want this person back, but look how they're suffering without you. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Three downs for you, please. What do we have? Three downs. What am I saying? Three cards down for you. Wow. The Ten of Wands has rolled over to the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So what does that mean for you? What's coming to you? What is it that you even want? is a fiery, passionate, exciting, butterflies in your stomach, new start here. Ooh, okay. But not before we talk, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and you, Gemini energy. Now, usually the King of Swords has one sword. There's one for you now and one for them. It's time to talk. This is definitely your um, ex. You have history with this person. Yeah, there is a lot here that you're gonna find out. This is good though. The high priestess Pisces energy is she or he who knows. It's about secrets, mysteries, important information and knowledge that's all going to be revealed to you. Cancer, a lot of you are either tarot readers yourself, you're highly intuitive, we're leaning more towards the spiritual side, even crystal therapy, your spirit team are highly protecting you. And what I love is that the scroll is opened. Why do I point that out? Because usually the high priestess has a book or a scroll that is closed. And we don't know, is she taking it out of the robes? Is she hiding it? This one's just open. So you pretty much don't have to do a lot. That's my quiet card. <laughs> um, it's all gonna be revealed to you. And through having this one, I'm hearing it's this one massive important conversation. That's when we get also clarity. Three cards down for your person, please. Yeah, look at that, six of cups. The card of magic, of nostalgia and wonder. Another six, see how we're still going into that entire theme of balance and healing is badly needed between the both of you. A lot of emotional harmony is also desperately needed. So this is Scorpio energy, but as a reminder though, Cancer, your person can be any age, any gender, any star sign. What is important is the energies that we are extracting from these cards, right? So I can see that your person is very nostalgic over you. They may have their own children, 
from perhaps a previous relationship, but they are nostalgic. They can't stop thinking about you. In fact, they're thinking of the good old days, even if this was even a brief romance or if it went on forever, like, you know, for more than a year, you lit up the room cancer for them. You provided safety, fun. You brought out their inner child. I'm hearing a lot of you have a great sense of humor. You know how to tell a joke without offending people. And what do they want now? They want reconciliation. Amazing. All right. More, please. Wow. The sun. Leo energy. Like, this is literally my number one favorite card. It's like the happiest card. That's why I was picking up how much you make this person happy. You brought magic, wonder, laughter, lightheartedness, or inner child. You brought all of that. You didn't bring any chaos. So it's also the card of illumination. We can already see it here with the sun. It's time that they come clean. They know that. It's this conversation here that's going to provide that clarity, that illumination. They just can't stop thinking. And I feel this is why I picked up that they're more stressed being away from you versus being with you. It's just happiness. Life is easy. This relationship is easy. Which is why they want to contact you. The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. They're getting quite excited about this. I feel like your person is like a, a pretty much like a natural born extrovert. They know how to talk to people. They like being around people, but they also like their alone time. But the Page of Wands is my, one of my favorite pages. They do want to give you a very, hopefully they're seeing it as a very passionate, exciting offer. Yeah, absolutely they want to message you I think that I don't know why I'm hearing there's a lot of love a lot of passion compassion here let's get the cards in the middle please wow make a wish the nine of cups Pisces energy now is the time to make three wishes because it's going to come true one thing that is mutual between the both of you is that you are each other's wish fulfillment that we were emotionally content so much so that we didn't need the ace of the cups we didn't need Ten of Cups or the two or the three, we were just happy with what we had and we had each other. Wow, this is such a beautiful card. Like this is literally celebration of coming together. The beating heart of the reading is the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. For some of you, not all of you, there could be an age difference. We've got the bunny there, which shows fertility, giving birth to the situation. Of course, like I said, there may be children here. I'm seeing two pages. That's also the children card or the inner child card. Wow, both of you have learned lessons. As the student card, what did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about this person? They're asking themselves that. How much perhaps we needed to speak up now, get something off our chest. They're realizing here, wow, my true happiness, my true love, my source of all my pain and my happiness is cancer. This often leads to face-to-face -face communication here. So I feel like this is definitely going to be first like a telephone call and it's like, let's FaceTime or let's meet in person. There is that small little pentacle. They want to make you an offer. And what's going to happen though? The ultimate outcome. Ooh, look at that. A major arcana. More Leo energy with the strength card. What is this? Unconditional love. Literally going from strength to strength here. We're building ourselves up. Our confidence, our self-esteem, our self-worth, our self-love. Look at that. And this is not about killing the lion. It's not about controlling the lion. It's about taming the lion so we can move forward together. Let's be really honest here. We did not get not one challenging card. That is beautiful. I'm hearing that there is a misunderstanding that you have that they want to clear up. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be the mother of their children. If you know that perhaps they were in another relationship, even if they were getting separated. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, slow moving start. Queen of Cups. Oh, there you are. Yeah, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this might have been a third party. For some reason, there were some people against this. Maybe because you were someone very different in a good way. Don't change for everyone, for anyone at all. I just feel that some people don't like change and they get threatened by it. They get jealous. Split the deck. Nine of Cups again. Double Pisces energy. They're wishing upon a star. Oh my God. Literally, they are. So what is this misunderstanding? What is it that you're believing wholeheartedly about this person? Because you're going to find out something and you're like, oh, hmm. Okay, I really thought that this person probably, they found someone else, they cheated on me or they never loved me. They're going to clear it out. Yeah, you're going to find out something here, but it's something good. Okay. 
which is, I think, why this is going to be a very important conversation. The road to clarity is going to be very clear. More information, please, for cancer. Everything and anything. What are they saying? Sorry, I don't mean to stop. Yeah, I think you're going to find out. It's one thing to hear it from me, but you need to hear it from the horse's mouth. This person, something, ha I think if this person has children or if there's an ex, they might have influenced your person to end this. I'm just saying, um, this could also be a mother. I'm hearing like their mother or mother-in-law. All right, three more, two more. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, they have, they made their choice, but I'm hearing some of you blamed yourself or you probably thought that they went back to an ex or they did something shifty. They, there's something they need to clear up with you and they will. Oh, and absolutely they will. The Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This is a card of surprises. A lot of people don't know that, but now you do because the fish is coming out of the water, pleasantly surprising the, the page there. So yes, we do have messages that are fueled by love, backed by emotions. It is apology. It's a small apology first, probably to test the waters out. Very literal message there. But this also represents a budding romance. Like we're literally going to have to start from the page, work our way from the knight, the queen and the king. Beautiful. Look at all these pages. Ooh, the page of wands goes up to the, the knight of wands. Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. This is actually quite promising. This is the call to action night. It's also the traveling night. So if your person is at a certain distance, there be prepared. I think they're going to shock you. They may come closer to you or at least, you know, propose. Why don't we meet somewhere in the middle? I'm hearing somewhere tropical, like something beach resort, hotel, something like that. But um, yeah, nice well i like that that's beautiful so they're taking action this is often known as mr or mrs right or sometimes it's a knight in shining armor you know going back to very old you know traditional tarot here but we've got beautiful messages changes offers and transitions of the passionate and the romantic kind why are they doing this because of the glorious and the very promising stable and grounded wheel of fortune aquarius leo scorpio taurus energy here this is about brand new cycles new changes, new chances, a new sense of destiny, a new renowned faith and hope in humanity, we could say, in ourselves, in each other. Your spirit team is working very hard behind the scenes here. This is why they're taking action. Look at that. The King of Swords came out twice. Yeah, this is going to be the perfect time to talk. Luther, Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy to start manifesting a brand new start here. Cancer, you're not going to feel like this anymore. The Four of Cups, that's you, Cancer energy. I'm not saying that you're depressed, but emotionally, I think this person took a lot out of you. And we're quite, we're actually sad. That's why the Fool is telling you to get out of this, chin up, take action, like the Fool is doing here. The mermaid has grown legs, and now she's walking into uncharted territories. It's like the Fool is saying, go for it and speak your truth. Anything that you've been harboring deep down inside that has made you angry or sad, frustrated because it's so unfair, now is the time to talk about it. It leads to massive clarity. Let's talk about you as the Ace of Wands, Two of Pentacles. I don't think you're going to make this decision lightly. This is Capricorn energy, but it's on your placement right here. So I do feel it's like first before you even accept a Pentacle, the Sun or the Wand here, it's like, okay, first let me talk about the positives, the negatives. Yes, no, maybe here, maybe there, column A, column B. So I think this is going to be a decision that you are not going to take lightly and you're really going to be considering it. Two pentacles, we've got two swords here and it boils down to your intuition or at least what your spirit team is kind of, you know, guiding you toward. Decision time, that's what it is. The king of swords for you is clarified by the nine of swords. I think you've suffered enough here mentally, Cancer enough is enough we need to draw that line this is not fair for you to be in this situation absolutely not you might be dealing with a gemini but this is the card of regret of having you know insomnia losing sleep of nightmares or those weird vivid dreams and you're like what on earth was that i had that made no sense it was quite disturbing this is a card of guilt six punishment we are quite and um, you know nervous anxious here we could be feeling quite lonely where did we go wrong can't say you didn't do anything wrong I mean, if you did, I would say it respectfully, but I, it's, this was not you. 
You went in there with the best intentions. You gave it your all. This is the time, whatever you're harboring deep inside your mind, no more mental torture. Speak it. It's like you need to purge it. it you're going to feel so much more better. I am feeling here that first, it's like the injustice that you experienced, but also there will be clarity that because there's been one miscommunication here and I can't wait to get here. Let's talk about you as the high priestess, seven of pentacles. Mm, that speaks volumes, that illustration there. Um, my, you could be dealing with a Taurus, doesn't necessarily have to be, but I think some of you are just a little bit wary of should I invest, should I not? Is it going to pay off? Is this going to bite me in the bum? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Should I absolutely do it? I think there's a big part of you that wants to plant the seed and re-nourish this connection, reinvest in it long term. If you don't know what to do, if you're a bit weary, a bit hesitant here, what would your spirit team be whispering to you, which is your, your heart space, your higher self, your subconscious? Ask for signs. But I think it's going to be quite easy for you because let's, I mean, the only challenging card, it's what's going on inside your mind about yourself, the situation, and this person. Let's talk about them. The Six of um, Cups has rolled over to the Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy. So your person here, they kind of, I think they're emotionally spread out, a bit emotionally overwhelmed, a bit emotionally confused. How do I approach cancer? This way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way, or that way. You get the picture here. Um, this image almost reminds me a little bit of the Little Mermaid when she's got her own little cove and she's got all her treasures there. So I feel that your person absolutely at one point does absolutely has no idea on how to approach you. No idea what to say, which is why we're getting page energies. Is that good enough? For now, I think it is, but only because they need to test the waters because they probably have an inkling here of how you are, how much you've suffered thanks to them. So they need to ground themselves. They're probably doing a lot of fantasizing into the future, the first conversation, the first encounter, the first hug. That's all good. But they need to take action. The sun, please, is clarified by the king of pentacles. Interesting. Wow. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We've got the king there playing with on their knuckles the actual pentacle wouldn't be surprised if your person actually was kind of separated, committed, married. They couldn't even be going through a divorce um, as well. We did see the justice card. I'll just grab that card. Here we are. As the overall energy. And don't forget the six of pentacles can often show spousal support, child support or money or assets being divided. And this is the last time I'll grab the other card. That could have been that third party intrusion. Lots of chaos, disharmony, arguments, tension, even screaming. I'm hearing that. If there was a third party, like they scream and they swear at your person, like they abuse them, that's absolutely terrible. But now they've got this enlightenment. I'm not confused anymore. I know who I want to commit myself to. <clears throat> Page of Wands, <clears throat> excuse me, is clarified by the Seven of Swords. Aquarius energy. So I'm just going to pause the video. I'm going to cough, but I don't want to cough into the microphone. So I'll leave everything as it is. My apologies for that. I'm back. I just really don't want to cough into the um, microphone. That's just, it's, it's not a good sound, not a good look. So I can see here that perhaps your person, I'm hearing that there's one roadblock for your person with this. It's because perhaps they're anticipating that you do not trust them. Why do I say that? The seven of cords, cords the seven of swords, I talk too fast. I got to slow down. <laughs> the seven of swords is not really a nice card, especially for romance. Because it appears here that perhaps your person, yes, there may have been some lying, cheating. I'm not really picking that up though until I see more of the like other cards, like, you know, Five of Pentacles or the Three of Swords. You know, a bit of copycats. People were jealous of you. They were intimidated by you. Perhaps your person was trying to get away with a lie or even a white lie because they didn't want to hurt you. But as a result, Cancer, you are very quick to catch on. For you to actually believe a lie, you've got to be very distracted. Um, or have your head in the clouds with something else. So I feel like they're anticipating here, yeah, cancer doesn't trust me. They're not going to trust this message. Another message that I'm getting is that they may send you a secret message. So they're being very sus, not in a bad way, um, very incognito. They're being very, keeping it on the, the low key that they don't want any one of that five of wands to find out that they will be reaching out to you. Secret messages. They don't want an outside interference. So in a way, that's not bad. You know, the less people that get involved, the better. Sometimes 
I always say this, too many cooks spoil the broth. Too many people and they just create disharmony when there was no disharmony, there was actually harmony. So the nine of cups, please, mutual energies is, ah, the page of wands came out twice. Mm, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I think both of you absolutely want to hear from one another. Absolutely. And it's going to happen. And I see that you will respond. Now is a good time to get excited because that page of wands is an extrovert. They're excited. They're curious. They're a go-getter. They go after what they want. If there's no answers, they're going. They get it. If there's problems, they find the solution here. Now is a really good time to try to find creative ways to see each other on the other side. And with that, it will grant many wishes. Wow. Page of Pentacles, please. It's about the devil. So who is this devil? Is it that third party? Capricorn energy. We've got actually double, double Capricorn energy here. We can see the mermaid decided to go offshore and was very tempted because it's a very big card of temptation by all those jewelry and the gold and all that. And they got trapped there into a man-made trap. And now they're stuck in there. So one thing that your person has learned about here Perhaps they realize that they were very attached to you in a very unhealthy way. They're learning with that strength card. This is a beautiful combination. We absolutely want to see these together, especially right next to each other. Um, is that perhaps they're overcoming any attachment issues, dependencies, addictions, and also a third party. So whoever, if it's a group of people or one individual that can be quite toxic and selfish, it's all about me, me, me. I think here your person's learning how to keep them at a safe distance. You've also perhaps will learn who this person is. You'll find out information more about what they have done behind the scenes because it's very easy, Cancer, to talk bad about you behind the scenes. It really is. Instead of confronting you, anyone can talk bad behind anybody else's back. It's different, though, if we do it to someone's face. Not everyone will do it. The vast majority will not. And I think you're going to learn. You're going to find out exactly with the sun, exactly what happened, what that devil represents. So it's not all bad. The strength card, please, is clarified by the fastest moving night. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Wow. Offers, messages, changes, transitions in the next coming weeks of communication, of moving forward here. And I feel that both of you will. I see that you're still apprehensive. That's completely normal. I mean, I would feel exactly the same. So let me just air these cards out. Let me split the deck. Time to drop these wands. Uh, I feel like your person is very stressed being away from you. They can't stand it. Ooh, is this a highlighted message? Outcome? I kind of feel it's like with your person and the outcome. So I'll put that in the middle. Thank you. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords again. <laughs> we saw it with you. Absolutely, they want to talk to you as well about the Magician, Gemini Virgo energy, and the Six of Swords. They want to move forward with you. Okay, so let's look at this card first, please. Oh, it's the Empress. How beautiful. Taurus Libra energy. This is wonderful. So I'm getting two messages. One, the topic here will be about a toxic divine feminine third party. Could be the mother of their children, their own mother, someone that has a, that likes to really, how could I say this? Um, it's almost like they think they can influence your person. They might have in the past, but your person has learned not to anymore. But there could also be a pregnancy, um, topics with children, expanding the family or um, blended family and giving birth to the situation once more. And it's going to, everything's going to work out. We have the star. There's the North Star. How beautiful is that? In fact, this is the major arcana of the Nine of Cups. Make a wish. This is about just restoring everything back to the way it was with balance here. Wow, wishes are going to be granted. Things are going to work out. First, it's this conversation that will open up the doors to clarity, to getting rid of any miscommunication, assumptions. And I see that there's going to be massive spotlight on this person that caused a lot of chaos behind your back. But it's going to work out. Things are going to work out. You're going to come full circle here. The Empress is blessing the star. Well done, Cancer. Um, I hope that this provided you with um, yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're still holding back for now. Let's get all the information that you need to get that clarity. So I will see you next Thursday with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. And always remember, power to you, Cancer. Love your energy. Keep it up. See you soon. Bye.